Hi guys and girls, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. Uh, welcome back to my mate John Pettit's workshop actually. We've set this up for the first time here and although we haven't had a lot of results yet, we've made some progress. And I thought, well, it's time to have a bit of an update anyway, whether we actually get to finish this video or not. I was waiting to do this video and was hoping to have this sorted, but John's working until the 6th of January, so it's not going to happen until after that, but we have penciled in a spot then. We set this up and used a, a carbide face cutter uh, to square this off, and it cut pretty well, really. Uh, everything cleaned up, and we got it nice and square on the end, I think, and everything set up really well. That's about where the end of the, the good luck sort of finish. So let's have a bit of a look and see how we got on. We run into problems here with this in that the bore is 125 millimeter stroke and the quill travel on this mill which is uh, Bamford I think is only about 125 millimeters too so right there the tables down as far as it'll go and the quill's up as far as it'll go. And we've got the only available boring bar, which is way too long. So that boring bar will go all the way through, but there's... So we've got no, we've got too much flex in that little boring bar to do the job. And that is a problem. So. If you notice, we've set this up or, or moved the setup so that. So this this um, casting is hanging over there to the front of the the table, so we can get enough travel or enough enough space there to make it all work. This wasn't working particularly well. Uh, it's a much better setup than the one that we had but we do need a better boring bar and that's where we sort of got to. Daring, but anyway. So anyway, there's going to be more after the six. We actually pulled this set up down and put it back on the shelf for a little while. Yeah. It's fairly simple now to get it set exactly right where we need it, and we'll be able to set it up again. And we're going to make a decent 25 millimeters solid boring bar with a a adjustable tip in it and carbide, a piece of 6mm round carbide and set that up in a collet or in a, a shrink fit holder so that there's quite a lot more or less stick out so hopefully that way we won't get anywhere near as much vibration. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for your patience, this is an update. After the 6th of January we should get this board. There's still a lot of parts we could go on with. I started the rough out the camshaft and a few things like that. 
and hopefully there won't be too much of a gap in this construction series. I really want to get this done. It's not but we do need to make a decent boring bar and John's off on work until the 6th of January. So after that, should be an update. Thanks everyone for following along and for all your helpful advice and for believing me in believing in me a little bit to, to get this done because some of these setups are a bit complicated and some of this work is a little bit of a challenge. Anyway, be kind to each other and particularly to me and more soon guys and girls.